Nope, still nothing from your side. Why can I not hear you? That's weird. <clears throat> Do you want to try? Yeah, I hear I hear something now. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Weird. What happened? I, what happened? I switched away from the microphone and switched back to it. It must be a Chrome thing. Did you get kicked out of the house? Is that what happened? No, we um we're doing some spring cleaning here and my office is full of stuff again, so I'm on the front porch. <laughs> See the family. All right. <laughs> All right. This will be relatively a light session because I want us to be able to merge the um the PR that's coming from uh, the projection service. I think the only thing that we're missing here is basically exception handling for this one. Um, we we didn't handle any exceptions for projections, and we basically want to take care of it. There's also validations. You know, uh, we need to handle validations. So well, let me go back to device. Uh, where is? Just a moment. Bear with me, and we will get this going. Um. Okay, so so I'm just gonna start with the validation, Joe. It'll give you a failing test. You know, in order for us to move into that node service, we're gonna have to kind of get the get this service buttoned up. So, um, hey, hey, brother. Um, so let's see here if I can do this. Let's go here. Uh, I think all our tests should be passing at this point in time. Here we go. How's your weekend? The weekend was good. We uh, did some stuff with the family, did the Memorial Day thing. Our uh, little city here had a parade, so we got to go do that. Nice. It was good. Good weekend. Hot. A little hot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Summer decided to sneak in. Yeah. Summer's at the doors, you know. Summer, summer, summer didn't make its mind here yet, you know. And so, you know, we're gonna have to wait for it until it's it's really, really sure about what it wants to do. All right, here's the deal, my friend. So we want to, you know, basically write a validation test. You know, our inputs in this case, and I don't know if you can see my screen, Joe, properly. Um, on okay. So the tokenization service, we basically takes a sorry projection service we take a a list of projected tokens or an array of projected tokens so we need to run a bunch of validations on these before we actually proceed with anything so let's just let's start this way i'm gonna go here and say here's a fact this this github thing keeps bugging me because i don't see the code though it says we're gonna send you some code this is the copilot uh, thing it keeps saying we sent you an activation code oh here's an activation code okay great i, I just shared my activation code with the world <laughs> right. yeah it, pro it it may not work without being authenticated to your github account yeah i know i did i just did it you know agree in terms yes okay okay should throw validation Validation exception on project if uh, 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 tokens uh, is null. So we basically want to throw a simple exception given when then. Oh, and then here is a projected token uh, null projected tokens there shut oh the much window. better what did you do yeah with there's the a window right here so i can talk to everyone i just shut it so okay okay projected tokens and then we expect you know null projected tokens exception new null projected token exception 
okay and uh, we basically want to go and say um, uh, this is your projection service right this is projection projected projected token validation exception new projected token validation exception and that guy will take this null projected tokens exception null projected token exception and here as input parameters okay let's go create these models so we have we have here our o tokens we're going to go here and say projected projected tokens oh we already have this okay perfect let's me oh we do because we had the uh we had the actual okay perfect so yeah, let's go and yeah yep 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 yes sir so exceptions and then this is your let's go here here is null null projected token exception here we go and we basically want to go here and say here's your public this guy is exception. Pick up this guy. See Tor takes in nothing and just reports a message. And this message saying null projected. A projected token is null. Projected token is null. Okay, so that's one one guy, and then. So this is done, control K E, this is done. And then here's another class, projected token validation exception. Exception. I don't know why the out of the box one creates it as an internal. Bothers me a lot, a lot, a lot change it how do you uh how do you do that um, there there's a setting for newly created classes whether you want them internal or public um, okay. best practice is to keep them as private as possible okay new class here advanced um stack cool. tray okay sounds good thanks <laughs> What is editor color scheme 2019? That's weird. Okay. All right. So this guy will take exception as an inner exception. And here's a base message projected token validation error occurred. Fix the errors and try. Oh, you again. actually have to go edit the template. What? Yeah, what I'm thinking of is when you create a new property. Uh, I can give you well, half the templates. Yeah, so, nah. You'll break well, stuff. <laughs> you know, by the way, I think, and, and this is probably something I need to talk to my Baruch about, um, we need to, you know how in .NET you could just do .NET new project and then select a template? We yeah. can select a standard compliant template that just has all the bills and whistles, but um, I still want it to be what you get outside of the box. What you see is what you get. WYSIWYG. Yeah. What you see is what you get. So, so I, I'm still a little torn about that. So it goes on the list of three thousand things. Go ahead. Go ahead. If if you end up making some form of analyzer, you can actually have everything be informational by default so that it basically you compile and you just get a bunch of blue eyes down your, down your, um, like, like where you would see warnings and errors. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you can go somewhere else and configure them to be, uh, uh, maybe a beginner might want more warnings so that yeah. it, it reinforces what they may already know or may need reinforcement on. Because not everyone can talk to someone else all the time. Yeah, I, I understand this, and it helps with scalability. I'm just worried. I don't want a toaster to tell people what to do, though. You know, yeah. it's it's a well, little... We're the ones that would be building the rules. 
So it's yeah. our toaster. Yeah, that, that's 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 a dude building a toaster to tell another dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes these toasters go wild, though. You know, they yeah. they'd be like, like people start kind of having serious issues with the toaster because of the because it doesn't understand. It just knows how to raise an alarm. That's all. We we should yeah. talk about that for sure. But well, the other thing is, if you we do have um, information or warnings, we can actually link to pin threads in the Discord community, community or a a section in your document. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe we can basically go and say something to the effect of, "Here is an option." Let's talk about that. Let's yeah, talk about I, that. I would like um, to bring some things to the group and see what we can evolve. I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that. So, yeah, do I really have to do the action? It's already an action, though. Come on, man. Why, why, do, why do they have to do me like that? Okay. It's a funk, though. There you go. No, the, the action is so we can go here and say assert, right? Oh. Throws. Yeah, because right? they need is... an argumentless yes. action where your your action takes one argument. Which is which is also a big like this is just just programming syntactical wise, it's a disaster. You yeah. know, because I wanna be able to go and say something to the effect of it 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 doesn't rhyme right. There's a video that I'm that I'm working on these days for YouTube is how to learn any programming language. I think how programming languages are being taught is a little bit, you know, it, it's being taught from a computer science perspective, not from a craft. Someone who wants to know how to communicate with the computer, they couldn't they couldn't care less about integers, maximum and minimum, and you know all of these little details that people get thrown at. They, here's all the data yeah. types that you can use. Like I don't care about the data well, types. Well, woodworking, you don't know, you don't get to learn about like the differences molecularly from like a, a pine or a maple. Like computer science, you learn that stuff right up front. Right. Like it's like you get a piece of wood and you get to just chunk away at it. And, right. And so coming at it from like the like most crafts, you almost work from the end result or from yep. some form of it. And then you yep. work inward to it. Like pottery, you get clay and stuff. And the first one's terrible because you don't know all the practices yet. But yep. you still do pottery. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, it's not for years until you start knowing, like, how long things got to go for. Or if you manipulate the clay a certain way, you get this outcome at the end, which might be completely counterintuitive for someone in the beginning. That's true. Right. How did we decide to do our validations here? We just said is is of this type. Okay, that's fine too. So assert true um, actual projected token inner exception is a null projected token exception. So this here will take care of what? It will basically is help. Is there an us assert type? Like, can can you assert the type without doing the true? Like, is there an art already a, a like a cert dot? Is type nice? Yep. And then you can use the generic version, and then you don't have to. I like I like that a lot, Joe. See, that's my brother right there. I think I, I used it a couple of weeks ago. You did. Yeah. That's the problem is you use something like somewhat rarely, and it's like I kind of know it exists, sort of. So let's figure it out. Let's let's take this further. So actual predictor inner exception should be is it be of type. There you go. <laughs> is that strictly? I, should or, yeah. Uh, fluent assertions. Yeah. This is yeah. the fluent assertions. Yep. The only thing here is that you have to go and do that. Oh, they don't have a generic version of that? I wonder, what if I did this? Oh, maybe yeah, right we there. can. 
because type of in that case is just noise. It, it is. This is why I was like, okay, so let's see, would that work? So you should get a failing test, right? Let's let's get the validations out of the way. Yeah, considering we're not throwing anything yet. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if it worked. I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> I'd be like, wait. You know, I'll tell you something that drove me nuts. If you put value task as a return type on your test method, it will always return true. Because yeah, because the test framework is not up to date with that yet. See it through a null yeah. reference exam. <laughs> All right, here you go. Go ahead. Uh, this is the same branch, Joe. Okay, I'll get later. Go to town. Ain't nothing but a thing, one sky man. Let's put some code on the white fire grid people call the internet. Let's do it. I should probably learn about what you're talking about one of these days. <laughs> I don't know if I have that reference buried in my head yet. You, you should. Do you like Eddie Murphy? Have you watched yeah, Eddie Murphy? For the most part. There's some, there's some things that are a little overboard with him, but yeah, for the most part. Yeah, so so Eddie Murphy has this movie. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a movie about, like, he needs to pay. It's called Imagine That, right? Okay. And... <laughs> <laughs> there is there is this co-worker that he has at work who's like pretending like he's like a native american he's not you know he's just pretending to be and, <laughs> and he keeps saying these weird things <laughs> he called himself like white feather or something like that yeah. <laughs> and he was sick and tired of him he was like you know what i'm sick and tired of your nonsense <laughs> You really okay? Definitely watch. Imagine that it's a very family movie, and it's hilarious, and it has a little bit of magic to it. Oh wait, Joe, I don't think my code went in, did it? I don't know. I'm hold on. Losing my mind here for a moment. Here we go. Oh, hold on. I'm doing some pushing and pulling from my side. Attractions. Okay, now you should pull latest. That looks better. Mm. Run the runnies. Go to town. Do it again. Make it rain. Have you watched um, what? the Pentaveric? Pentaveric? No, I did not. It's uh, a Mike Myers. I believe it's like five episodes. I might be wrong there, but it's a bit ridiculous. If you like uh, Inside Job, it's a little bit similar to that. I'll watch it. Just not animated. Okay. Go to the other test. I don't know why this one bogged out like that. I need to look it up. But go to the validation test. Get out of here, man. <laughs> like, my tool window is way too big. All right, so I just want to go here. So we need that guy, that guy. need these guys and you need to validate yes sir mm -hmm. KT for what to clean up things? R A control R T. Oh, run test. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. R A is run all. I guess. Let's see. Okay. It's also running it in debug mode, so it's a little problematic, but. Okay, 
So you are throwing, you're doing the right thing then. Yeah, I just got to get through all my. There we go. Nice. So. All right. Now we're just going to need to refactor that guy because the. Um, we gonna need to refactor that guy because of the. We need to wrap it up in a try catch and do all that kind of stuff. I'll take that one on. So you just send me the test back. Yeah. Fix my tool window problem. So I want this guy. Not this one. Nope, not that one. I'm just gonna go here because it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to having such a small screen. Oh yeah, you're on the laptop. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh 1920 1080. I mean, last time I stayed natively, that was beginning of COVID when my right. office wasn't set up yet. <laughs> All right. Did you commit? No, I didn't. All right. Uh, commit. Push. There you go. All right. Thank you, sir. Where'd my browser go? There it is. Let's go back to me. There we are. All right. Let me pull all of that. Sync. I'll just do that. So when when does the team get those uh, halo lenses? When are you gonna start passing those out? Is that start giving them for for free? Just giving everyone. A halo. <laughs> did you did you see did you see the demo I made? Oh yeah, that thing was cool. I I, I can just think of all sorts of things you could do with that. You you can, so just wait. This is just me kind of like a teaser trailer, right? Yeah. I'm just telling people here's what you can do with this thing. What's hilarious is you know I was just showing it to a friend and they were like. Did you just put another TV on your wall? And I was like, "Yep, yeah, that's 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 really what it is." You know, just putting. Yeah. You know, if if that's what makes sense, that's exactly what. If you have what... cell service, you could put that. You were walking around. You could put it two feet in front of you and go for a walk. It, th that's anyway. exactly. You could literally watch a football game while yeah. you're doing the lawn, and it's just following you. It's insane. I, I was on a walk a few weeks, a uh, couple months back with my dogs, and I'm picture and having goggles or a smaller version of the halo lens you're walking up the street someone could like mix in like google maps or a map service you can literally decorate your house yes. virtually whatever you yep. want fireworks yep. coming out of the roof who cares yep you can yep. ask music virtual music <laughs> that you can have people opt in to hear while walking by your house yep exactly just like that and and also like someone was just telling me this the other day you know someone left this comment he said i can you make this uh scan barcodes right yeah. so imagine you're at the store and you're helping people out you don't have to go scan you could just do this go ahead sir you're done you know yeah. you're on your way you know it, it the amount of this is why i'm bringing this to the community you know i'm yeah. building this whole thing in the open source space because I want the community to say there's nothing that beats the hive mind. Nothing. You know, and I can tell you this right now, Joe, like nothing can beat the hive mind. Um, so uh well, we'll I see, mean, if man. you're not building it for anyone else, who who are who what what's the Halo lens for? Exactly. It's for all those people that are giving you those ideas. I would exactly. like to see even modular, like um with headphones and microphones being able to swap out little parts. Like you might want a a bow set of headphones built into the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah. Bluetooth, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> but be able to piggyback off battery and stuff. Oh, did you look into that uh tech I sent you a couple I don't know when it was a week ago or so about the the battery technology that they're looking at? The battery technology. No, which one is that? Um, Can you find it? Yeah, sulfur lithium or something like that. Lithium sulfur batteries. Pretty oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. I remember. Yeah. yeah, we did talk about it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Dude, like, that. <laughs> dude, that changes everything. Imagine like you have infinite battery. 
Well, it's lighter effect. and it lasts a ridiculous amount longer. I, I don't know what it takes to mine or anything, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you charge your Halo lens with a bigger battery capacity, and it stays charged for five years. Why not? Wow, wow. Yeah, I. I think, by the way, I think Tesla already came up with infinite battery. I think they just burned down his, I heard, they burned down his his lab, you know, something like that. I don't know. I heard something about this. I don't know how true it is, but I think something to that effect. Null projected tokens exception. Here's null projected token exception. And then that's that nice line that you put in there for the service. This is your validation. This is your exception. Throw new uh, projected tokens validation exception with this null projected token exception. Much better, much cleaner. Now we can go back into the service. And I do wonder what a... it takes to build um refactoring rules for visual studio because that would be it the try catch pattern would be a nice one to do it with you right click any try catch and then build what you just did that would be cool i i'm i'm okay with that i'd love to see something like that i've never looked into that that might be a fun little uh stream to get a few people on yes it will be excited. Try guys does not exist in the current. Actually, context. you want to know who you want to talk to about that is uh, Mads. Um, Torgerson. No, the other one. <laughs> There's like twelve of them. Mads. <laughs> uh, is, I it, think it's, is he someone in our community? Uh, he's uh, he's a Microsoft guy. Mads Chris. Yeah, Kristen. Mads Torgerson. Oh, there's another one. Projections. Let me just make sure. I. Yeah, Mad Mad Christensen. Christensen. He's um he heads up the community extensions stuff. I'll talk to him. I'll send, I'll send you his GitHub. Okay, sounds good. All right, this guy is clean now. Control K E. Let's go back here. Slap this one in. Uh, run the validation exception again. Here we go. Yep, this is the whole service. Okay, there you go. So code rub, use try catch pattern, noise cancellation. There's another um, validation test that we need to do, maybe next session. What we want to do is that we want to basically go and say, you see how your how you're trying to access certain properties, right? Yeah. So we need to validate that these properties are like this raw value is not null, empty, or white space. Actually, yeah, it right can, now it's just gonna be a property if it is. It, it it can be white space, but it can be empty, right? So so this raw value is something that we validate against. I think that's the only thing. So for each and every token in these. We're going to be reiterating over this to validate this before we start accessing these values, right? Because once we start accessing these values, it's going to throw an exception. It's going to throw a null reference exception, right? So that would be the next the next thing you and I will do, okay? Cool? Yeah, and Let's you want to collect all of them so you can't throw it on the first one. Right. Okay, my friend. Let's do that on Friday. Cool? All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much, Joe. Take care. Bye.